Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. I have not studied my openings much since last time. I think last time I did review a couple games. Um, pardon my audio situation. I forgot to double check it because I was so excited about playing here. Hopefully it'll be fine. Good luck. So, yeah, other than some really minimal prep, I haven't had an opportunity to uh, carefully reflect on opening ideas. Um, so one idea is that it is fine to push this pawn. I just didn't remember that last time. I was kind of freaking out because I don't like this pawn structure, but it's completely fine. And then my silver can fight back against whatever he throws at me here. And usually opponents do push this pawn. Though I don't know all the details about why. Um, now, this is an interesting situation. Well, okay. If I push too aggressively, I'm in trouble, but I don't like Anaguma Castle, but I don't have anything special prepared here either. So, we just grin and bear it. Mm -hmm. So I control this square. This castle's incomplete. That's, uh, like... Goodness, what do I do? It's not easy to take advantage of this at all. That's why everybody plays this opening. Um, I can take this, right? I think I need to. Oh, so that's the idea. Um, well, what stops this idea? Right. Um, Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking for something exciting to happen here, aren't I? But I don't see a problem, so that means there's no problem, right? Or it just means I missed it. Um, but yeah, I can push and promote multiple pawns here. Which looks interesting. So soon enough we'll see whatever it is that I've missed, but right now I'm not seeing it. Um, when they play this castle, it means they want to have a middle game where lots of pieces get exchanged. And I have just not accommodated that request here. At least as best as I can discern. Um...
Hmm. They have a silver in hand. How do I react to this? If my gold moves forward, they have a fork here. Uh, I think I just have to take this with the pawn. So there's the rook, there's the king. A knight here would be pretty cool. Um, but I have to deal with this pawn advance threat too. It saddens me to say it, but I've got to block my bishop so I can block their rook. Sorry if I'm not speaking clearly enough. So I'm trying to deal with these threats, whether it's a silver or something else being dropped on that square. So that's the purpose of this. Uh huh. I can't fully prevent this, but um. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite the question. What to do? I think this is correct. So it's fine for me to give away a pawn here, as best as I can tell. Probably should have dropped a pawn, now that I think more- well, I can't drop a pawn when there's already a pawn on that file. Um, even here, dropping a pawn looks somewhat interesting. Um, yeah, I've got to cut off the rook again. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy talk, yo. Why would you do that? Um, okay. This threatens a fork if I take this. Maybe I don't care. I'm pretty sure I don't care if I get forked. Um, yeah, I have to take this. There's no chickening out at this point. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Yes, my king's in some danger. Um, I hope it's okay. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, this is going to be wild. I didn't, like, this has got to be my best course of action. It doesn't look super appealing, but it takes them time to attack. 
and I haven't given them everything they need, so hopefully I'm fine. Okay, I get a bishop. What was the idea? Was this the idea? I don't understand it. Again, it looks spooky. Um, but is it anything more than something that looks spooky? Where do I retreat to? I have to retreat here, unfortunately. Okay, we step off the file so that we don't get checked and lose the bishop and everything else. But, um, I think I'm doing okay. If I were bold, I'd drop a pawn right there. That's a bit too bold. No, uh, what a mess. Sampun. If the silver moves, I can take this gold for free. Although I do lose this token. Okay. Hmm. That looks crazy at first. Um, but I do want to cover this square. And I do want to attack on this file. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. Getting all choked up over this endgame. But yeah, if they don't... I mean, dropping a gold in this territory is crazy. But what else can they do? They've got one pawn in hand. And basically no way to collect a piece. That's a way forward. That's clever. Um, Nifun. They can drop a pawn here in this. Well, that would block the rook.
1分30秒The rook is in jail. Ippun. Hmm, this is going to be a long game. There's a fork. Of course there's a fork. If you're going to try to time me out, put some effort into it. I should take that. Shit, I misclicked.
I hope you enjoyed it. Two to go. Good luck. All right, all right, fine. It's my turn to play this castle. All right, what the hell do I do now? Um... That's surprising, honestly. This really limits what the bishop can potentially do. This is even more surprising, I think. Or I just don't know my theory. I think they need to push this. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Um, bishop, rook, pawn, they defend this, my bishop doesn't escape. Alright, um, interesting. I don't understand. Let's just pretend I understand this, because this looks kind of fun. Rook protects silver. I take a pawn. And that's where the variation ends. Alternatively, like, they move this or they push the center pawn, but I still take this. I still break this open and promote my rook on it. So, what's the deal? Um... I guess I trapped my bishop. Um, on drop, rip takes. Interesting. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's pretend I understand this. Um, I don't need two pawns in hand, so we'll do this. Now if they drop the pawn, I can hit this rook. 
and transfer my rook to this file instead if everything goes wrong. But I don't think everything's gone. Well, okay, I'm hanging this. That's not great. Um... Hmm. Yeah, this is not great. Um, I'm so confused. And my bishop's still tra well. Yeah, trading the bishop for a silver might be good. <laughs> um, I'm probably not doing well here. Incredible. Um, no, that makes sense. That's actually straightforward. They can just take and promote and stuff. Welcome. You missed game one. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, right, they have a pawn. That's how pawns work. Um, damn, this sucks. I'm not sure I could have hallucinated this any worse than I did. Um, I have to push here, because everything's falling apart. Um, we'll just say it's fine. This is fine, right? Hmm. See, we got three pawns. What could go wrong? I expected them to actually take my pawn. It's kind of weird that they didn't. Um, like, if they kept taking pawns, then they could have forced this through. Instead, I get this with gain of tempo. So, that's cool. Tactics are hard. <laughs> this is so confusing. So they could take this, but then I could drop either a pawn or a lance. Probably the lance. Uh, they can promote on the edge file. So I want to react by promoting my rook but only when I know that I'm actually successfully going to get to promote it. Um, meanwhile, they can promote pawns over here, but then I can like slow down the rook from promoting and start taking the pawns too. They could take this. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Why would you do that? I cannot think of a reason to drop a pawn on this square. There might be a reason, I just... Uh, it sure beats the hell out of me. What? Yes, they want to promote their bishop. Um, Go home. Okay. This game... Uh, it's truly mystical and unknowable and whatever else fits in that category. 
by this game I mean just Shogi. Like, how can we ever understand Shogi? So... This bishop cannot promote this turn. Um... If the rook dodges, I can take this. And now the rook is loose. Okay, wow. Um Samsung. This is crazy. I'm encouraging this bishop to move out so I can attack it. Um so I actually Oh my gosh, I hung I hung my dragon. Uh, it's fine. We did it on purpose. We did it for the memes. Yeah, I totally saw this combination and definitely planned this on purpose. Um, this wasn't some freak accident, was it? Right, I'll take one of those. Um, I think I have to... Yeah, this is sad. I can't give up all the gold around my castle. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is a silver, that's a gold, but my gold's hanging. I am so dead here. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, we intended to play bishop, whatever. This is all on purpose. This is part of some extraordinary plan. Yeah, that's like two days in a row I hung a dragon for nothing. Um, so I'm doing great. I don't know about winning, though. That might be big overstatement. Um... Oh, they could probably just take this, even. Yeah. I don't know if taking it's a good idea, but they can. Um... Yeah, let's just let that go. Thanks for the game. At least one player today knows when to resign. I'm joking. Alright, let's play one more. That's why we're not one done.
Good luck. I mean, it just reinforces that I should play openings and castles that I have some familiarity with. Instead of playing random stuff. That playing random stuff is what gets me in trouble. Okay. Random stuff, go! Let's do it. <laughs> uh... Eventually we'll learn it, right? If we just keep playing it? Um, how bad can this be? Uh, push here. And then with any luck, we'll just win on the edge file and take the knight. It's that tactic I keep telling Shogi at about. Um, see, they hang a knight, and you just take it. All right, it's not hanging anymore. Um, oh, you know what? I don't care. This looks fun. Now there's a gold hanging in addition to a knight hanging. This is how the opening goes, right? Anyone know this opening? Because I'm just... Mm, Mmm, I have options. The presence of options means I should actually think and not just mouth off. So I could just bring the bishop back and not deal with any of this. That looks like a good option. Tactics here, there, and everywhere. Uh, yeah. I mean, this looks interesting to me. This looks super interesting. Either that, or maybe it just looks good and not interesting. Um, oh, never mind, it looks interesting again. Um, Nana Fun.
There's a wild tactic with a silver dropout here. Um... Yeah, I should take this. And then if they try to win that, I can perf continue forward. Um, <clears throat> with, uh, even a pawn, not even a lance is required. Although a lance does better because it hits the gold. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Um, also, I could just aim a lance at this point. So why am I trying to win this gold so much? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Oh, right. That's how pieces move in this game. I knew that. Um... Hashtag planned. Mm-hmm. Like I was saying, that's out there. Um, I don't think it changes much here, though. So, you remember earlier I was deciding whether or not to play high Mino. Um, and then I'm like, mm, maybe I don't. Um, yeah, I think it was Yamaguchi Eriko who pointed out um, that you don't need to defend this point until the opponent attacks it. And then when the opponent attacks this point, that's when you defend it. At least, generally, that's how that system goes. Um, Alright, so... This is crazy. This is absolutely mad. Gofun. Half the board is not on the board. Um... All right, we're going to put this out there just speculatively because it's going to pay off someday. Um, and also because I want to put something in this square, but there's something on it already. Hmm. Uh, oh my gosh. They don't ha they have a silver in hand. Um All right. Probably I should have taken the pawn, but this looks super aggressive. 
So this is probably fine. Thanks for the game. I was about to say no comment. That like that's an oversight. They just missed the pin. All right. Well, that was exciting. Um, yeah, we're maybe kind of sort of on our way. But every time we get around the ninety percent threshold, like then we get the one dons and two dons. Um, and yeah, I need to stop playing Anaguma until I understand it. It might be entertaining, but it's not something I'm prepared to play. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.